Good evening everyone, Late Night Mega here, and tonight we're going to do another Magic 30 mixed up Premier Draft. I don't know how much more time I'm going to have to do Premier Drafts before the end of the season. You can see we're in, still in Diamond Tier 1. I might make it to Mythic, I might not. Kind of hope I do. Uh, I'm, once again, I'm one really good draft away from hitting Mythic. We've kind of heard that before. Oh, my. We get a Zerda. It could be a companion or just a 3-mana three 3-3. Three, three. Target creature can't block this turn. We have an Abrade, which would be good. Long Reach of the Night. I feel like it's between a braid or the Zerda. I don't know how much we're going to actually get to use Zerda. So I think I'm just going to take the braid here. I could also just take the long reach. I'll take the raid. Maybe we'll be Boros again. <laughs> it's like the only thing we are in this format. Um, oh, Gateway Sneak. That card, we, we lost a game to that card. Because my opponent that had that card just got like three or four hits in. Gained a whole bunch of card advantage. Oh, there's a... Uh, in Bolas's clutches, that would be nice to have. Doubt that's going to come back. I'm going to take the gateway sneak, though. Draw four cards, then discard two. That's six mana to do that. There's an Echo Inspector. That card's okay. Uh, the rest of these cards... Turn another target historic permanent. Oh, that you control to your hand. Okay. Never mind. I don't want that. Tax, you can sack another creature and give it plus two, plus two. It's not bad. Selfless Samurai is not bad either, but uh, I don't think Selfless Samurai is better than Gateway Sneak and Echo Inspector, so we'll take the Echo Inspector. Hookhand Mariner, Radiating Lightning, deals 3 damage to target player and 1 damage to each creature that player controls. That's uh, not the removal spell I was hoping it would be. Consigned to the pit, 6 mana kill a creature. 5 mana, 5-5 five, five could be reasonable. Find an aura or shrine. Well, we'll take the Gearsmith Guardian. Flame Blast Bolt. Stitched Assistant. Siphon Essence. Cards we've seen before. Uh, Galleon Calvary. Not so much. Uh, we've seen this before. It's not good. Do I even have. I have a full set of them, so I don't even need to rare draft that. So I think it's just going to be the Flame Blessed Bolt here. We'll see what comes of that. Uh, loses three life. Deals combat damage to an opponent draw card. Well, that's another sort of along the same thing. Shield Mare and the Shield Basher, those are pretty decent. Oh, the Chronicler. Get an instant or sorcery back, but that's six mana to do that. I'll just take the otter. Azorius Knight Arbiter, that's a cool card. Suffocating Fumes, I don't really care for that. 
Turn target permanent. It has to be one eye control. Frenzied Raptor. Three mana for a 4-2. Five mana for a 5-4 with reach. Interesting. Or I could get the flat. I'm going to take the Merfolk Trickster. Plus one plus oh can't be blocked. That seems good for what we're doing with the gateway sneak and the thieving otter. Yeah, I'm I'm all for that. Dark Royal Sentinel almost wouldn't be bad here. Three mana three four. Also feels like that could be good. But we'll take the Aether Tunnel. Storm Strike. Riveteers Overlook. Ah, oh, it actually gets us our colors we're playing, and this is just a vanilla creature. Desperate Farmer came back. Well, our colors seem open. Uh, minus 4, minus 0, and draw a card. That's a little expensive for a trick. You could just take Siphon Essence. Yeah, just take the Siphon Essence there. We'll counter some stuff. I don't think I'm interested in any of this stuff. As the most interesting card would probably be for the family. Hookhand Mariner came back. Those are some late green cards. Uh, another artifact, otherwise it's just a 2 mana 2-2. Two, two. I'll just take the 20 gems. It's just purely 20 gems. I have nothing else, no other reason to uh, pick anything else from that pack, I don't think. So we've got a couple cheap burn spells. I might not even be red. I could easily just be green-blue with the For the Family and that. Defender and Reach. Neither of these seem particularly well. We'll pass a black card. And we will get a black card. Ilhard Razebor. Well, that is the pick. We are blue red. That's that, that doesn't take much. <laughs> yeah, this card is insane. It's a mythic rare, so I am still mythic drafting. Uh because I don't have like any of these cards really. At least ones that aren't from standard or, or sets you've seen on here. I have very little. So yeah, uh raise raise boar. Connive I could Cast that. Can't really cast the other side though. What does this thing do? Turn another creature you control to its owner's hand. That could be interesting. Gets plus two plus. And sure strike. Sure strike might come back. This could be interesting if I get some. What does this thing do? Storm Crow Plus. Well, I'll take the 4 mana 4 4. Okay, as long as it's my turn, it has flying. Okay, well, that's cute. Sailor of Means. Windstrider, we don't really need any more big stuff. We're, we're kind of covered on that. Storm Herald. Haste, when it enters the battlefield, return any number of aura cards from your graveyard to the battlefield attached to creatures you control. If those auras... Okay. So blah blah blah, 3 mana, 3-2 three, with haste. I mean, I'm game for it. Tiger Hunter Tribe. 
pack tactics. Uh, you need to sacrifice another creature. Equal sacrifice creature's power to target creature. Okay, well that does that. Maximum velocity attacks gets plus one plus oh for each elemental you control. So that includes itself. Infuriate. Plus three, plus two. Nice little combat trick there. Leapfrog. Proliferate and draw a card. I think I'll take the Infuriate here. Just the kind of cheap trick I'm looking for. Plus three, plus two for one mana feels pretty good. Oh, Battle Cry Goblin. Now red is definitely flowing from this direction. Heartwarming Redemption. Well, that's not going to be the pick. Uh, climbing Trap. Or a Chilling Trap. Hypothesis. I like that card. But not as much as I like the uh, Battle Cry Goblin. Red is just super open from this side. What does this do? Attacks each combat if able. Escapes with a plus one plus one counter on it. And just two mana, three one. That might be the pick. One damage to target creature. That creature can't block this turn and draw a card. That's a little expensive. Or Ember Hauler. I think it's going to be Ember Hauler. Or it's going to be straight up blue red here. I mean, that's a nice card, but you know. Piranhas. 5 mana, 7, 3, not really into that. 4 mana, 4, 4, reach. Over two more creatures your opponent controls attack. Oh, then it can't block. 3 damage to each of up to two target creatures, and it's a 1-1 one, one menace. I just take the uh, Goblin Electromancer. I know what that does. Sun Crowned Hunters, so 6 mana 5, 4, or 6 mana 6, 5. I'll take the 6, 5 with Menace. That's a good card, too. That is kind of a good card. It's a little bit situational, but... Uh, as just Active Treason or Chilling Trap, how many Wizards do I have? I have two Wizards? That could be. We'll try it. We might. It, it, it might likely be getting cut. Creatures without flying can't block. Sure Strike came back. I'll take the Sure Strike. I don't mind the combat trick. I mean, it'll have flying, so that's fine. There's Guaranteed Draw a card, but that's... Some decent green going around this way, and there's elemental. We'll go with the haste thing. That could be good. I don't know if this is going to be a dueling rapier deck. Yeah, I'll take the Explore card. Callous Blood Mage, decent card. Not decent enough to try and splash. So let's see, what do we have in our colors? Strategic Planning, Merchant of the Veil. This is going to be Merchant of the Veil. That's very unimpressive. We've got Glass Casket here. Greater Sandworm is kind of a pain to deal with, but you know, take the merchant, I guess. I feel like we have a pretty decent deck brewing here. Acclimated Contender, another card from Throne of Eldraine. Rona's Vortex, Baryon Books. That one might be the pick. Goblin Picker, we're familiar with him. 
The player discards a card at random and then they get to draw. I uh, don't really like that. Shatter. Don't really like Mammoth Growth, Snare Spinner. All right. I mean, Rona's Vortex would be good, but there's no way that I'm really going to be realistically going to be able to splash black here. Soul Seer, five damage target creature, Planeswalker. That permanent loses indestructible. Well, you don't have to. I I'm sold on that. Try his Fire Nado, Academy Wall. Yeah, we're just going to take the removal spell. Wow, what do I take here? I think we already have our top end all set. How many creatures do we have? We have quite a bit of creatures. So maybe just puncturing blow just to kill off big things. Or I could Frostbite. I already have a Braid and Flame Blessed Bulls. Target creature you control and target creature you don't control. The creature you control gets plus two plus one. If it's a knight, then they f the creatures fight. Yeah, I don't want a fight spell. Maybe in a green red deck. A strategic planning. Countervailing winds. That's a counter. Sure. Enrage, it deals 5 damage to target creature and opponent controls. It's a 4 mana 2-2, two, two, which feels underwhelming. Turn to Slag. I think we already have a couple 5 damage spells, so I'll take the Frostbite now. It can just be a 1 mana, another, like, shock a creature. I'll just flip the switch, but eh, I don't really need another counter spell. Has double strike as long as I have the city's blessing. Yeah. If that wasn't here, I'd take the snow land. Which still wouldn't, we would not have enough. Yeah, we would need three or more snow permanents. But that would be like on color fixing for us. Naga Oracle or Rimrock Knight. I don't know if I'm playing either of those, to be honest. If anything, it'd probably be the Oracle. Another Snowland, just random Snowland. Oh yeah, this is our beginning pack. Like nothing in here. I just uncommon draft. Well, that thing came back. Uh, the two cards I didn't really want came back. I don't think I'm playing any of this. Two snow-covered planes in the same pack. That is <laughs> very odd. Um, yeah, I'm not playing anything. Do I have all... I don't. Take the Kaldheim card. Frostbite came back. How many creatures do I have, though? Seven. I think we've got enough creatures. Yeah, I'll take the other Frostbite for sure. Mana Worker, Memory Theft. I don't... We're not playing it. Turn to Slag as well? I don't know that we're playing Turn to... Well, I'm going to put that in the deck, though. What else did I have here that we're not playing... Five mana, seven three. Yeah, we're not playing that. We we have a much better five mana card to be playing. All right, you can see I got the twenty gems from the rare we drafted. We have nine cuts to make. Shall I just do the thing where we take everything out? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do that thing. Oh, we have that. Oh wait, Swamp Mountain. Before, why did I read that as island? We don't have that. Never mind. 
Uh, okay, let's put all the removal into the deck. Battle Cry Goblin's gonna go in the deck. Soul Seer definitely goes in the deck. Our Rare can go in. Our Mythic can go in. That can go in. I don't know that we need Turn to Slag. This will be a 5 mana 5-5 five, five most of the time. I like that stat line better than 7-3. Oh, whoops. Oh, what am I looking for here? Oh, we need Ember Hauler for sure. Gateway Sneak. I don't think I have much with, like, ETB effects, so I don't think I need the 4-mana four 4-4 four, four here. It'd be a good way to get around, like, some of the pacifism-type effects that our opponents could be playing. Ten creatures right now. I think we gotta get a couple more in here. Oh, this swashbuckler needs to be in. Uh, yeah, trickster can be in. Actually, goes well with the counter spells. Which can also be in the deck. So I have 13 and 9. I probably don't need like the combat trick sort of stuff. Not when I've got... I've got like so much burn and removal that I can play to get rid of their stuff and then draw extra cards. And I'd rather just be doing that. Oh, wait a minute. Return any number of aura cards from your graveyard to battlefield attached to creatures you control. Exile those auras at the beginning of your next end step. If those auras leave the battlefield, exile them instead. Of okay. So this can bring this back for like a one-shot effect. That's cool. And I think with all our cheap burn... I should be fine. I mean, okay, so this is a potential 40th card. What's another potential 40th card? Probably not the Chilling Trap. Probably like one of these four drops. But I feel like our curve is already pretty good on that. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, Merchant of the Veil. No, thank you. Otherwise, we have combat tricks. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep the Aether Tunnel. I mean, that can just make it so we just uh, win. Where's our, where's our boar? That's going to be the star of the deck. And we will remember to put the space lands in this time. Because we're not spacing out. We'll just go 8, 9. We only have one double blue card and it can be played later on. Uh, we have a couple double red cards, mostly red stuff. We also have a double red 2 drop, so... Yeah, 8, 9, that should be fine. And let's get into the games. And see how this deck runs. Hey, we, we did something different than Boros Aggro. All right, now we just need an opponent. While we're waiting for an opponent, we also need you to subscribe if you have not subscribed already. If you're enjoying the 
channel you're watching multiple videos it's probably a good idea to just subscribe amvp kill spell kill spell creature it's slightly land heavy but i think we'll be fine we'll keep opponent goes first so we're gonna play our Mountain for the Frostbite. Opponent's also on the play and taking a mulligan, so that's a good sign for us. Where is this from? Oh, I think this is, um... Isn't this War of the Spark? Oh, that can interact. Dorothea. Ooh. Fancy. Well, I have Ember Holer. Who's not quite as fancy. Surge Mare. Can't be blocked by a green creature. Plus two, minus two. Draw a card. It, this is not what I want to be soul searing, but. Maybe I should have done that when an opponent tries to equip that. Oh, there's red in this deck, too. Attacks, target, attacking creature without flying, gains flying until end of turn. Okay. I feel like I just have to keep the double frostbite up right now. No Dorothea? No Dorothea! That's both good and bad here. That's bad. Hey, I kinda got to play this. We're gonna be in trouble. Put any number of them into the graveyard. I don't really need Aether Tunnel. I don't really need... Battlecry Goblin's not really going to help here. Aether Tunnel could be good, but I need more answers than anything else right now. It's going on the 3-5, and the 3-5 also gets flying, and we get smacked for an additional 4. It's not mana efficient, but we gotta, we can't can't just keep taking it. An opponent doesn't have much going on after this. Okay, so we have a 2-4. There's a 3-2-5. Man. Need another Frostbite. That didn't help. It was so close. Yeah, that extra flyer. And not having that Maybe I should just save the, the 5 damage spell for whatever they tried to attach Dorothea to and, and killed it there. 
That might have been better rather than trying to get aggressive with the Ember Hauler. But okay, well at least at least this deck feels like it's functioning well. H Ping is our next opponent. Opponent goes first, we'll keep. I'm gonna start with the island because we might draw another island. We might not draw another island, but we do have an abraid here. It's plus two, plus two. Oh, we have another island. I was gonna say happy creature. The two two flyer target. Creature without flying gains flying. Well, isn't that cute? Uh, we'll play the Swashbuckler. Get to 10 permanents, we can get the City's Blessing, and then this thing will have a double strike. Angelic Gift. Alright. I feel like we just play the Echo Inspector here, because it blocks both of those. I don't want to discard any of these non-lands. And 2-3 is fine. Though if there's attacks here, we're not blocking. This ability costs 5 to activate, so yeah, we're, we're good. That card needs to go away. Cast a creature spell, draw a card. I could see if they're gonna go for the double block here. Well, I don't think your creature spell's gonna be better than this. No, we get Mythic Animation. 6-6 six, six with Trample, you kill it, it's going to come back in a few turns. Probably should have abraded the Beast Whisperer. We'll see. We're at 9 permanents, so if I draw... Actually, a land would be a perfect draw here, because then my uh, Swashbuckler gets double strike. That'd be cool too. Rune of Sustenance, okay. Cartusha douche. Okay. There's a frostbite. Well, I don't have double strike unless I play the thing, but I could press for a lot of damage here, or I think I just kill that flyer. And we go in for eight. Oh, wait a minute. Whoa. That's right. This... Hi. You're in trouble. <laughs> That's right. I forgot this thing has a whole... Oh, it returns to my creature. My... This thing... I have the city's blessing, too. 
And... Okay. Well, that was fun. Me not knowing what my cards do. Okay, opponent. There you go. I, I told you guys this card was good. I was just like, oh yeah, 5 mana 6-6 six, six with Trample, and it's going to come back when it dies. I totally forgot about the whole part where when you attack, you get to put any creature from your... Is it any creature? I should read my cards. A creature? Yeah. Any creature from my hand onto the battlefield attacked and attacking, and then it returns to my hand at the end step. Well, that went well. It is a, it's a very bomby mythic, and now we're up against Gary T. And I'll be on the play here. We don't really have a two drop, but we do have the gateway sneak. So we can just burn their two drop. Never mind, we cannot. Well, as long as that survives here, we can start getting some extra cards off of it because we have the Aether Tunnel. Okay, cool. Thank you. Uh, I should just blow this up, right? Yeah, what could they possibly do? Well, that's reasonable. I'll just kill this now. Creature with power two or less can't be blocked this turn. Okay. It's a 3 5 right now, but it will be a 5 5 next turn. Going to need you to stop killing my stuff. Countervailing winds, which I can't really cast. Well, here we can get rid of like any non land. Er, any land cards are going to go away. Yeah, I can't block that. I'm not really in a position to be attacking, but I don't really just want to be sitting here, and I don't want to puncturing blow that. Kind of a rough position for the moment. Let's not do that. Playing silly goblin token-y things. Bombard, okay. I still don't want to puncture and blow that. I want to catch the thing. Yeah. 
That loses all abilities, and we're gonna block the other thing. Yeah, that's something I would want to kill with this. This is getting kind of dangerous, because that can get plus two. Doesn't, though. Gravedigger. That's not good. Getting back the centipede. Oh, I draw a land. Wonderful. We're pretty much dead here. We got a block. There isn't a braid. Can at least kill that thing off. Nullify this combat step, or at least most of it. A Grim Wanderer. I have Goblin Electromancer. That's not gonna cut it here. It's actually kind of a mistake. I could have just swung with the three and I would have to take the five. <laughs> and I get all lands. Oh, that's annoying. Very annoying. Guess I needed to draw more than one extra card off of the uh, gateway sneak. Or I just needed to draw more... Zapdos 81. Okay. Legendary Pokemon Go. I just needed to draw more... Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna keep. Varian Books, okay. Bait Hook Angler and really good 5 drop. Deals combat damage to a player, venture into the dungeon. Alright, well, I'll attack. I can bury something in books. Don't have a way to stop that from happening. Thank you. Of course, that just means I have to deal with it again later. Puncturing below to get rid of Bait Hook Angler? Doesn't seem unreasonable. So now it's not going to be a storm crow. Uh, opponent, it's not going to be a storm crow. Just it is going to be a storm crow. Okay.
Uh, the rescue. Working out for our opponent. Okay, so this is... When it dies or is put into exile, you may put it into its owner's library third from the top. Riverwise Augur gets a uh, brainstorm going on here. Nice watery effect. There's a gateway sneak. We just play our play our boar so it can't get countered. Revenge of the Drowned. Uh, yeah, that can go on top. Just a momentary way to stall. We're gonna play it again. Decline that action. Just swing in with our 6-6. Six, six. There's a double block here. We have the Soul Seer. No double block, huh? All right, go, go, gateway sneak. Well, I'm going to cast one of them. Would have liked to have that uh, Aether Tunnel. That would have been nice here. Did our opponent not get their death touch thing? There it is. Okay. I was wondering where that went off to. Ember Hauler. How do I do this? Oh, maybe I should have attacked and put it into play with the raise boar. Might as well just do it like this, because I can sack that anyways. Try, you still take six damage. All right. Startle, sure. Oh, opponent has their own God Eternal Guard. Okay, yep, Kefnet. Well, that's got to be blocked. 
but I don't know. It's got to be blocked by Kefnet. Because if it's just blocked by the other two, we win. And these, these guys can't block because they have decayed. Okay. Well, we're gonna kill the God Eternal. Goes third from the top. Goes third from the top. Yeah, we wanna take that action. You're already dead. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Our opponent's going to get Kefnet back before we get our thing back. What in the world? Trample in haste. Enters the battlefield, target opponent creates 301 goat tokens. At the beginning of combat, any opponent may sack a creature. If the player does tap it, you gain 3 life and you draw a card. Eight, nine, ten, decline. I don't know. That's gross. How oh, I'm drawing land is not helping. Opponent plays Kefnet next. I think I have to do that because otherwise this attacking with Kefnet is going to kill me. Oh, this game is slipping because of this and Kefnet. Mainly because of this, and opponents been getting like nothing but gas the past few turns while we've been getting nothing but lands. Only goblins I control, but that is a goblin. Decline that. We've got our raise board coming. We'll take eight. Let's raise board up. Now we sack. Up, I think it kept it back. But I have to do it. I need something here. I 
I'm actually just dead on board. Because I've, I've drawn like nothing but lands and opponent just gets all this stuff. And I'm still just dead to that, yeah. That was very annoying. Yeah, 1-3, that was brutal. And we had a really sweet deck too, it's just, I don't know why it wasn't working out. We just kind of got out card advantaged every every game, or, or out bomb rared. Oh, War of the Spark. Alrighty. Well then, I guess for now, I'll take my leave.